Hello, thank you for joining in. Today we are going to discuss about function sub and g sub in R. Both of these commands perform replacements of certain pattern with certain characters. Sub and g sub have only one difference in them. Sub replaces only the first occurrences, whereas g sub is global sub and replaces all the occurrences of the pattern. Let's look at some example. These are just again random examples which doesn't hold, hold any meaning as such. If you look at the documentation of sub, it's same, it's given in the same page as grip and GRPL which we discussed in the last video. So it's more or less the same but the only difference is in GRP and GRPL we find out occurrences if they are present or not but in sub and gsub we find out the occurrences and then also replace them with certain characters okay so this is an example now let's replace a's present in this vector x with z so you sub the first argument is the pattern which we want to find in the vector so here we just want to find a the second is the replacement so what do we want to replace instead of a it should be z and the third is the vector in which we want to find this pattern okay so this says that find a in x and replace all the a's with z now when we do this, see if you noticed as I said, sub replaces only the first occurrences. So here in the first element of x, the first occurrences of a is replaced with z and the second is remain as it is. In this we do not have a, so nothing happens here. Here we have a again, so the first occurrence is replaced by z. Here again we have a here, so replaced. And here only again we have two A's so only first A is replaced with C. Now if we do the same with G sub the difference would be quite obvious now the difference between sub and G sub. So G sub as I said is a global sub so it replaces all the occurrences which are present. So here Two A's have been replaced by two Z's. Nothing changes here. Here as well. Two A's are replaced by Z and so on for all of them. So from this example you can easily get the difference between the two functions. Moreover, like grep, you can also use regex for this. Let's substitute only those characters which start with A to Z. So let's do again, let's take this as this accepts regular expressions as well. We can do this. So here we are saying that in the vector x replace all the a, all the characters which start with a. So this means it starts with a to z. Now the first character here starts with a so it replaces. This doesn't change anything. Here also it replaces. This it doesn't replace because it does not start with A. So it is as it is. So if you compare this and this you'll find the difference. Because as this does not start with A. So it remains as it is. Same is the case here. It doesn't start with A. So it remains as it is. Now what will happen if we use G sub here? What would be the output? Think for a second. Actually the output would still be the same if you check this and this, this and this, this and this, all the output is the same because here again we are saying that only replace characters which start with A to Z. So there is no point replacing the ones which do not start with A. It replaces only the one which starts with A. 
which was the same for sub as well. Most of the regex works the same way. We discussed few of the approaches in grip video. Most of them works the same way here as well. There are a lot of examples which you can check online and there are a lot of information here as well. So which would be helpful. And I think this video was enough to explain you the difference between sub and G sub and, and give you the basic understanding of how it works. If you have any comments or feedback, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be back soon with the next video. Thank you for watching.